Welcome to Utah! <laughs> we are the Rognans. This is our family's project to strengthen our relationships, overcome our financial hardships, improve our health, learn new things, and have fun together in the process. We know the journey won't be easy, but it will be worth it. And we hope you'll join us along on the adventure. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. Hi from Utah. We are spending the next week in the Provo area of Utah. We're visiting some family. Yeah, um, my parents live in Mapleton, my sister lives in Springville, and we had some family um, events coming on this weekend, so that's why it's our first stop on this fun cross-country adventure. So we've visited the Utah area uh, quite a few times. We used to live here. Yep, it's pretty close to Idaho. Uh, grandparents, cousins, everyone is around here, and so we like to visit a lot, and because of that, we like to create family rituals and traditions with our kids to kind of uh, strengthen bonds within our family and with cousins and grandparents. And so we're going to share some of those traditions with you, but also... When we visit a place that we've been to before, we try and do new things and visit, visit new stuff. So we're going to do a couple of new stuff this week. Okay, first up. So one fun thing to do while you're in Provo is to go on hikes. Utah itself has over 3,000, according to All Trails, hikes uh, across the state, and the Provo City area has over 60. The trail we're on today is Bright of Oil Falls, which is uh, a little over two miles each way. So you go up to the top and then turn around. However, getting to the base of the falls uh, is actually just a quick little 10 minute hike. You can get there rather quick. It is pretty busy uh, hike where there's a lot of runners, bikers, and other uh, just hikers throughout. Along the paved trail, there's also a river. It keeps it cool, there's a lot of shade and trees, and uh, it's been a pretty fun little hike. Yeah. Today we are in the Uinta um, National Forest. Yeah, and so we are going to go to a Cascade Springs hike. We heard it is kind of easier for little kids, and since our kids are not hikers, we wanted to kind of start them off with some small trails. I feel like it would work really well with little kids. Um, if you needed strollers or other things like that, I it think it seemed that's... like it. It did really well on that. The drive-in was pretty fun. So some of the roads were closed, so we had to go on this back road, uh, which was pretty narrow and, and small, but it provided some really pretty views. Uh, we drove through some uh, like what forests. What kind of trees were they? Birch ash trees? Ash? Birch? Yeah, I don't know. They were very pretty. Anyways, it was a fun ride. It was very windy, so our kids got a little uh, motion sick, but um, it turned out to be pretty fun. Okay, so the Cascade Falls is a natural spring that uh, emits water out of the ground and then it creates all these little waterfalls. Behind me is where the uh, Cascade Falls start. And anyways, they go down a little ways. The hike itself is a loop around the, the falls and it's a nice little hike with some shaded parts and some not so shaded parts where it gets a little hot to the point where I think you felt like you need to put a little water on your face, huh? Just a little. Just a little. Cobble Creek Canyon, there's the Springville Reservoir. Um, it's a little man-made reservoir and it's really fun. To go swimming, paddleboarding, other types of water activities. So the reservoir itself is free for anyone, but you have to pay for parking. So one way around that if you don't want to pay is they do have parking lots. If it's not full, you can go there. Or right over here at the very top, there's also free parking over there. You just park on the side of the road and then you just walk down. So what our family does, because <laughs> my parents live in Mapleton, just like a block down the road, 
they don't have a free pass like Springville residents and so they just unload there at the reservoir and then park up here and whoever drove just walks back down so that's a little tip for you. Michelle have you gotten your toes wet yet? No I just didn't want to. You want to try? Sure. Okay. Going in a little bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh that's cold. <laughs> Okay, it is very cold. Are you shivering? Are you cold? Okay, our next stop is Macy's. In Spanish Fork, Utah. This is one of our favorite traditions where we come and get conch cones. Uh, these conch cones are massive. You can get an ultimate which has over a pound of ice cream. It is two dollars and something cents. I don't know, it was pretty cheap. Close to like three bucks? Yeah. And you can get vanilla, chocolate, you mix. Can get a mix. They even have some Dole Whip and other things there too. But you our check favorite. Check it out if you're in the area. Definitely the conch cone. Yep. Thank you. Can you hand me a spoon, Dad? You gonna finish that, Elena? Uh, yes. Obviously. All right, guys. Any guesses? How much is it? How many pounds or ounces is in one of those conch cones? Five ounces. Five pounds. Does this feel like five pounds to you? No, mine does. All right, we got our first casualty. What? He's done. He's done eating. How much did you finish? He's got this He's got that much left. Finish the cone. Out of the pound. I think that's about half. Was it worth it? Yes. All right, the next victim. How far did you get? Victim. That's the end? She did it. Wait a second, where's your cone? Let's see it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Wow. yeah! Yeah! All right, is this the last one? Yep. The last five? Okay, another fan favorite and family favorite is to museum hop around Provo. Uh, on the BYU campus, there's a, a few different museums that you can go to that are free. Uh, we are at the Paleontology Museum, where they have fossils. What else do they have? Dinosaur replicas. Lots of fun things. Anyways, let's go in and check it out. <laughs> That's a wrap on the Dinosaur Museum. What do you guys think? It was pretty good. Thumbs up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worth it? Yes. Okay. Okay, we are at our next museum, which is the... Bean Museum. Monty Bean Museum in Provo. It's a BYU museum. It's a museum of life and life sciences? Hi, Jack. Yeah. Hi. Okay. We're going to wander around and see what they got.
Come on. The tiger stop now, please. Come on. Come on, Elena. Um, come on, Elena. 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 She's a uh, little afraid of bugs and all sorts of insects. But Max likes them, don't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Do you see that one with the wings? We just finished the scavenger hunts for the um, Bean Life Museum. Museum, yes. How long did it take you? How long have we been here? A while. Jack, tell us about yours. What was yours like? Um, it was like a, uh, it was like a detective story thing. Like we're trying to figure out who stole the Kodiak bear's honey. Nice. It was the honey badger. Mine was kind of like pictures, but it was kind of a little bit more difficult because they're all not really having any colors, and the colors would give you a hint. Okay, our last stop on uh, the BYU campus is the BYU Creamery on 9th. Yum, yum. Let's go. What'd you get? I got cookies and cream and mint brownie. Max, what'd you get? I got cookie dough and cookie and zinc cream. Nice. Jack, what are you going for? I'm going for the uh, cookie dough with mint brownie. Alright, we finished up at the creamery. What'd you guys think? It was really good. Really good. Good. A thousand thumbs up. A thousand. Would you go again? Yes. Ten thousand. Ten thousand times each day. And, and that's, that's Utah! Utah. Um, hopefully that gave you guys some fun ideas of things to do while you visit the Provo area. There is so much more to explore in Utah. Um, we just had such a short amount of time that we just, you know... Got a few things in. Yeah, stuck to this area. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations, fun things that we should try out the next time we come visit, let us know in the comments. Alright, where to next, James? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's about a 12-hour drive. So if you have any guesses, put them in the comments, DM us, talk to us. Uh, make sure you subscribe, follow along, because we are going to be traveling for another uh, couple months. So yes. look for us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, any places, and we'll be there. Okay. Chat to you, uh, talk to you guys later. Hello. <laughs>